morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Handmaidens. I hope you've been enjoying the content that we've been adding recently. We're really trying to make a push to to grow this channel and to help you guys uh, enjoy a uh, simpler, more sustainable way of life. If you could, could you like and subscribe? Uh, hit the bell button so that way you know when we're making videos because according to our analytics, a lot of the people that are watching our videos aren't subscribers. And if you subscribe, then we're able to find out what it is you exactly like. And if you comment, we can help you out more. So today I'm going to make a video on how to make a fire in a Vermont Castings wood stove. Uh, my sister Laura had made a video maybe about a year ago, two years ago, on how to make a fire in her wood stove. But with the Vermont castings, it's just a little bit different. So I wanted to let you guys know how to do this. Now, this Vermont casting stove is, it's a beauty. It's a 1977 uh, model, which uh, like many people say, age is only mind over matter. And if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. This stove has no catalytic converter, which might scare some of you, but that means that it burns wood the way that it should be. Uh, we put out a little bit more soot into the environment, a little bit more smoke, but if you have a campfire, it's very similar to that and it's not bad for the environment. I, If you look back into the videos that I've put up, I did a uh, video on the benefits of burning wood and I mentioned how burning wood even in its most natural form is a carbon neutral way of heating because it puts out the same carbon emissions as a tree rotting in the forest so don't believe everything that you hear right now because the studies tend to sway where the money goes and unfortunately there's no money for the for the man when it comes to burning wood um, today's a snow day, so my kids are home, so if you hear any extra noises, that's what's going on. <clears throat> I am wearing my snow day sweater and, uh, and some sweatpants because I have no intentions of going anywhere except for sledding with my kids today. That's, that's my biggest outing today. I didn't have to go to work, so praise God for that. <clears throat> so, what you need to start a fire... <clears throat> is you need a, an ignition source, which I'm going to be using paper. <clears throat> and you need, you need, how do I put this? Seasoned, very dry, very small pieces of wood, also known as kindling. You can purchase kindling or you can make it yourself. I take wood that I dry out and I split it with just a small hatchet. I store it underneath the stove here, and that's how I do it. Now with these Vermont castings, what they do is on the side of the stove over here, they've got, they've got a way for the, for the stove to vent. It's very primitive. They have a slot in the back that opens, and then they have a spot in the side. And what that does is it creates a, a circulation of air and the circulation of air helps the fuel source the ignition source uh light the light the wood on fire so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put <clears throat> here let's get this going in here i have a little bit of coals in here so it'll be a little bit easier than starting cold but i'm going to put on this side of the fire the right side of the fire if you're looking at it it's on your left you're going to put the ignition source in you don't need a lot to get going because the air is going to do most of the work then you're going to want to start with just a couple couple pieces of wood the smaller the better because Smaller pieces have more surface area than larger pieces. Then you want you 
You want a flame? And then you just watch it go. Now with these Vermont castings, it's great. You can keep the doors wide open. You just watch the fire get going. <clears throat> so, if you haven't seen the video, you may ask yourself, Stephen, why are you burning wood? Well, it's a, uh, it's in my heritage. I come from, my family split into two groups of people. We have people that come from the Caribbean, who immigrated from, uh, from Spain and Italy, and then we have people from, uh, the northern parts of North America, who are French Canadian, and French Canadians love burning wood, and those people were there from Newfoundland and from Sweden and all these Scandinavian countries, and they rely heavily, still to this day, on burning wood. So as you can see, the ignition source has taken the fire, and then if you see the brightness around the wood, that right there is the fire. Now as that burns, you're going to want to, carefully I might add, you might want to wear gloves, add some wood, make sure it's dry. Seasoned wood, now I'm burning oak right now and I have a little bit of ash as well, but oak takes about a year and a half to get the moisture content. That's what season means. It means it's wood that has optimal, it's weighted a season or two, and it has optimal moisture. Now, if you have wood that gets rained on, sometimes your wood, even though it's seasoned, can get waterlogged, so you need to get it into a dry place or cover it while you store it. And then <clears throat> another trick you can do with these Vermont castings is shut one door and then partially shut the other door. So it leaves a crack here. And what that does is it creates a vortex that circulates around. It comes in here, it draws air in here, then it draws air in through the side hole here. And that allows it to burn at a more consistent pace. I'll just open that up. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope that it encourages you to burn wood, especially on these cold, snowy days when all you want to do is sit down, read a book, have a cup of tea. That's what I plan on doing after I take my kids sleigh riding. They really want to do that, so we're going to cherish the memories of the snow day. We're going to live it up. And then during the evening, I'm going to sit by my fire. I'm going to read a book. Probably tell my kids a story. And that's that. This is what the handmaidens are all about. Simple, sustainable living. God bless everyone, and thank you for tuning in.